DJ Pro's new 5.2 update added so many new amazing features, but I still believe that organizing and making great playlists is one of the most important skills as a DJ. So in this video, I'm going to cover everything that you need to know about making playlists in this amazing app. The way to access our playlist in this app, we're going to press one of these blinking music buttons. I'm in classic mode, but it's pretty similar on all the modes. I'll show you the other modes after. So this is what you're going to see. You press it and we get this drop down menu takes up about, I'd say a quarter of the screen over here. And then now to get to your playlist, what we're going to have to do is go over here to this drop down menu. Right now it's on title. Press that drop down menu. And this is where we're going to see all of our music sources and our playlist is in here as well. So all of our streaming sources are here, our files, our local music. But then up here, it's not called playlist, it's called my collection. So it may be confusing if you never used the app before. Playlists are called my collections. So we're going to press that and now we are in the playlist section. So right now I'm using a new iPad so I don't have any playlists. So this is what it might look like if you're first starting your playlist journey. So now we have a couple of options over here. We can make it bigger. I don't really like doing that, so I'm just going to leave it smaller to minimize it. You're going to press these arrows here, and there you go. Down here, we have playlist, which is what we want. To the right is sessions. So whenever you DJ, if you practice or you do a gig and you're wondering, oh, that was a good gig or I like the songs I played, this is where you can find them. And then over here is match. This will find similar tracks if you have tracks loaded up. You could also access history, queue, and auto mix over here. So go back. We will go back to playlist. So to create a playlist, we're going to press plus. And now we get another option. We could create a playlist or we could create a playlist folder. So I'm going to show you how to make a playlist folder, then I'll show you how to make a playlist to put in the playlist folders. You don't have to use the folders if you don't want to, but it does make it easier. So now we're making a playlist folder. So what are we going to name it? I'm going to do 2000s music and now add it. So now we have a playlist folder. So if we click this playlist folder, now we get a couple of options we could do a new playlist. So let's make a new playlist. So you can either do a folder inside a folder inside a folder and keep doing that. Or what you can do is, is add a regular playlist. So I'm going to press playlist. And now this playlist, I'm going to do 2000s hip hop. So a good idea, if you want to start making a playlist, a good folder would be the decades. And then you could do different genres in the decades, or you could do different, you could do the eighties, the nineties, the two thousands, however you want to do it. Whatever makes sense to you, no one else is going to see these except for you. So add. So now we go here into 2000s music, and then inside 2000s music, we have 2000s hip hop, but there's still no songs. So there's a couple of ways to add songs. One of the ways is to press add songs, and now add from library. So we do add songs, add from library. And then now we could go to whichever source you're using. I recommend using a streaming service with this app, or if you have music saved onto your device, you could use that too. But for this example, I'm going to show you how to do it with Tidal. So we go to Tidal. So now we're in Tidal. And then if we search here, this is going to search all of Tidal. So we're going to go search um, 50 Cent. And now the artist is going to come up with different songs. So in the club, we're going to press plus. We're going to press this one, candy shop, how we do for this example. So now these are all selected and now we're going to press done. Now all those songs are in our playlist. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is just to open one of these music select buttons, go back to title, find the song that we're looking for, press these three dots next to it. Add to playlist. So this drop down menu comes here. You can add the favorites, add the cue. You can listen to the song. And now add the playlist. Now, now it's it thinks that we're in title because you can make your own playlist inside title. But I I don't do that. So click on this icon. This means our playlist. And here we are, 2000s music. Follow it, 2000s hip hop. Now we'll go look at that in our playlist. 
and now the song is here. So I recommend making some pre-made playlist like this with the decades, uh, different types of genre, maybe hip hop, maybe country, whichever you feel comfortable with, or you could do them all. And then you have those so they're there for you whenever you need them. But when you get booked for a specific gig, say you're doing Steve's birthday party next Friday, then as soon as you find out about the gig, start adding music to your playlist. And if you're wondering how big your playlist should be, this isn't an exact science, but you should have double the amount of minutes than the party's going to be or hours. So if the party is going to be three hours, you're going to want six hours worth of music. This way you don't have too much. Having too much, you could. it's kind of like you go to a restaurant with a big menu and you don't know what to choose. Having too much could be harmful too. But having too little could be bad if you do exact the exact amount of time. Then if something doesn't work and you play a song and you have to take it off, then you might run out of music. And this app makes it easy because if we look over here, it says five songs, 17 minutes. So if it was like a nine minute party, this one would be good. So you could see it right here. And then now if you want to organize them, you click here. So I have it by BPM going up. So BPM going up, it starts at 80 BPM goes up. I like the DJ... Um, keep the BPM similar, but you may do something else. You may like to have it by artist, title, album, or key. If you mix in key more than you mix in BPM, you can mix it in, you could have it organized in key. So again, whatever makes it easier for you. And then you could edit by pressing this pencil here and then choose an action. You got all these actions. You can analyze the songs. You can export to a CSV file. That will give you a written list of your playlist, and it will be saved in your files. So that's how you could get started with making your playlist. And then after you make these playlists, you could use these playlists in auto mix. So check out this video over here where I show you how to use DJ Pro's amazing auto mix feature.